Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I am so excited to bring you this review. Uh, it is a review of uh, Homeworks by Harry Slatkin's Ice Cream Cone uh, figurals. Now they come in a set of uh, three, and uh, I just got these today. Uh, they came, they were released last uh, last Wednesday when Harry had his uh, TSV, the, the Today Special Value of the fruit baskets we're at four cents i have the strawberry one uh, i will be doing a, a quick review of that soon but i wanted to get these out um because one i think they're going to sell out soon because they're very popular uh and two uh the shipping deadline harry doesn't ship uh from may 15th until september 15th um because his wax it's a softer wax um so it'll actually melt in the summer, and he doesn't want to risk having a bad experience. I can 100% uh, respect that. Um, you know, it's kind of like his, we'll say, a little break um, on all wax products. But he will ship, like, you know, the uh, uh, the gelables, I think. Or at, at least he'll ship the um, diffusers, right? Because they're not wax products. So... What I have for you here today uh, is a set of three Sundays in ice cream cone, ice cream scents, um, and he also has a set of three in ice cream cones. Um, I ordered those; those didn't come yet. Uh, QVC is not the best at shipping, unfortunately. Um, I know they're probably getting better, but uh, who knows? It takes them forever to ship sometimes, and. Sometimes they don't ship from the same warehouse, so they're coming in from all over the place, all over the country. Um, but I did get these today. Uh, the box came pretty mangled, and one is kind of chipped a little bit. Um, once again, not Harry's fault, not Homework's fault at all. Um, it's just the between UPS and the post office, UPS takes it, and then they dump it off to the post, you know, the USPS, the shore post, um, and I just happened to have an issue with it so i don't know what i'm gonna do um it's just minor chips there's really not much to complain about so uh let's get into it so these are like i said they come in a set of three um can't hold three up at a time here but as you can see uh they were they're uh they're 36 dollars and change plus 550 to ship um they might be 38 but i think they're 36 um i got these when they were the one day only price of 32 dollars um and 550 to ship um so let's get into it here real quick um but like i said i want to get these out may 15th is the deadline stock up if you like this stuff uh you'll have it all summer long christmas in july will be here before we know it um and then we'll be getting all of our stuff in early september so this is what he calls his vanilla bean ice cream uh now all three of these scents are available in larger three wicks um in two duos um but i kind of wanted just to sample the amount these are six inch or i'm sorry six ounce candles two wicks and the lovely hand these are all handcrafted hand painted um the waffle cone there i mean like i said the chips they're very small i'm not sure if it's going to zoom in and focus on that they're very small um they have the, the notes on the bottom so this is madagascar vanilla bean caramel cream cinnamon and crystallized sugar so the two wicks here burn for up to 20 hours and uh, they do have the wick clips on these as well so we're not you know he's not um sacrificing his quality same wicks a little bit smaller wicks um but the same kind of wicks that he used in his uh, three wick products and uh, this is just gorgeous the hand painted uh, waffle bowl and all three of these waffle bowls are different they're not the same and he's got the hot fudge so, you know, when you take the waffle bowl, uh, and sometimes I'll just take it and then dip it into the hot fudge there. Now, it's interesting to note, there is a little lip on here. And I, my guess is, I could be wrong, is that so that when these are shipping in the very cold, that the wax doesn't fall out. You know, if it gets very cold, the wax will sometimes separate from the, the, the vessel and it'll just pop out. So that's my guess is that it doesn't fall out, um. Or just could be a way of how the ceramic has to be made, um, one way or another. So let's get into the oh, let's get into the top here real quick. Now this is the largest one of all three of them. They're all kind of similar, but they're different. This has a lighter hot fudge on it. it has the whipped cream. It has the cherry on top. The maraschino, maraschino cherry. 
Um, and as you can tell, this is vanilla, but it's not white, right? Because vanilla bean, you go get a vanilla bean um, ice cream. It's really not pure white. It's an off-white, like an eggshellish type white. Now you can see the whipped cream there. That is, that's pure white there. So this is the largest scoop. Um, gorgeous. Even has the, now I'm from Philly here, from Philly area. We call these guys Jimmy's. You all might know them as Sprinkles. They're Jimmy's. Let me know what you guys call them, but they're definitely Jimmy's around here. Um, we don't know what sprinkles are. <laughs> and then it has, you know, like the little, um, little pieces of like uh, peanuts or whatever you want to call on there. But yeah, very gorgeous. All hand painted. You can tell. So the scent, this is a, an interesting scent because it's not vanilla. It's not straight up vanilla. It's not like a buttery vanilla. It's, uh, it, it's a vanilla bean. It's that Madagascar and vanilla bean, which adds a little bit of like an exotic flavor to it um exotic scent it's it's really hard out of the three of them this is the hardest to describe and you would think you know being a vanilla bean it'd be pretty simple this is actually the most difficult scent to subscribe to describe and i haven't burned it yet and when i got all three of these they came shipped so that the lid was on the bottom and there was a piece of foam and then the candle was on top so i had these i had to put the lid on them for you know a couple hours there just so i can kind of get a good feel for the scent on these and this is, I'm still not getting a very good read, but I'm getting a read of a vanilla, uh, a vanilla bean. <sighs> and a little, that, that caramel's coming in there to tone it down a little bit. <sighs> but it's, it's a very interesting scent. Um, it has the crystallized sugar in it. Now, it, there's a tad sweetness to it, but I have the strawberry fruit basket, which also has the crystallized sugar in it. And that is really sweet. This is not that sweet. Um, so yeah, if you guys like a, a vanilla, and you're th if you're thinking like, um, don't think of vanilla like a vanilla cake or anything like that. Um, this is like a lot stronger. So it's not sweet, but it's a lot stronger. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's how I'm going to do it. Sorry, guys. This is a very difficult to subscribe but that's the best i can do for you once i burn it um i'll probably be able to give you a little better of a, a you know a little better description there but now this is the this candle the mint candle is really the reason why i got this at because i love anything mint peppermint candy cane love it love it mint chocolate chip love the candle or love the can uh a, uh ice cream by the way so it's called mint chip mint chip ice cream I think the, his three wick is called mint delicious ice cream, um, but from what I understand, it's the exact same candle. So the notes on this are iced peppermint, crushed white chocolate, crystallized sugar, and whipped cream. Once again, let's take a look at the detail. It has the green ice cream there with the chocolate chips in it. it has uh, this is a darker fudge. No jimmies on it, but it does have the nuts and the cherry on top. Gorgeously hand drawn. Once again, this is the bowl is different. Two wicks, and it even has a little extra, uh, extra wick in there, chopped off, obviously. But this is just amazing. This mint is amazing. This is like it just tastes like a green mint, or it smells like a green mint. I, I'm saying taste because I'm, I'm reviewing ice cream candles. And by the way, I normally don't go for uh, food flavored gourmand, food scented gourmand scented candles. It's just not really my thing. But when I saw these, I'm like, I have to get these. These are totally, totally where I want to go with it. Like I said, I wanted to sample them all. Um, I do have the cones order, like I said. So I'll be doing a review of those coming up. Oh, this is just peppermint to the max. It's an icy, um, cold peppermint. It's not medicinal at all. It's not, um, it's not going to clear your sinuses. That's for sure. But this is just... Uh, this is just mint ice cream to the max. Oh, man. And it's, it is a white chocolate, so it's a sweeter, right? It's sweeter chocolate. Um, it's mint chocolate, a little sweetness to it. Yeah, loving this. Love, 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 love this. Now, the next one, I wasn't so sure of. Because I normally, like I said, I don't do food scents, really. But this one is probably my favorite of the whole bunch there. And this is Harry's Hot Fudge. This is absolutely astonishing. 
Look at the brown wax. Oh, let me, I don't know if I showed you the green wax on this. I think I did. But um, the green wax, it's a little brighter than the, than the candle there. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. It's not as bright as I thought it was going to be. Um, what they showed on QVC, it looked like it was going to be a really bright, almost neon green. So let's take a look at oh, Harry's Hot Fudge. Now this candle, this, this candle to me is probably the star of the set. This is a dark chocolate with um, espresso. So think of like, it's like uh, chocolate coffee almost. It is just, uh, that, that espresso really comes through. I'm loving it. Uh, it's like you're going into a very high-end, um, like a local local uh, ice cream shop in a little small downtown. And then you go in there like Main Street in Disney World, you know, you go into the confectionery or the, you know, the ice cream parlor all the way at the end down there and you get the waffle bowl uh and they put the ice cream on it and this the aroma the aroma in the place uh, this is just phenomenal phenomenal oh man so this has oh man this is dark chocolate espresso caramel coconut tonka bean black vanilla and brown sugar this candle has it all I don't get the coconut on cold. Um, when I burn these, I might get the coconut in there, but not on cold. Oh, this is the star for me. This is the star of the show here, and we have the we have the uh, the bowl there, you know. Then we have the brown chocolate ice cream, the dark fudge. We have the nuts, you know, the whipped cream with the nuts, and then we have the red cherry on top. So, if I had to rank them, this would probably be my favorite of the three. Followed by the mint chip and then the vanilla bean. Don't get me wrong, the van there's something wrong with the vanilla bean. It's just a very interesting scent. It's, you know, Harry doesn't do simple, right? He doesn't do simple. He could just, this could have just been hot fudge, but it's not, right? This could have just been mint ice cream, but it's not. So why would we expect him to do vanilla, you know? It's it's not it's it's not bad it's it's not bad it's interesting um, think that it's it's interesting and uh, when I burn it it might come off completely different his scents do transform that's why I'm not a huge fan of doing reviews without actually burning them but uh, in this case it's already the middle of April we have a month to go to order this stuff so I wanted to get all this information out to you guys ahead of time uh, May fifteenth is the cutoff date um for shipping uh so you'd probably want to get your orders in by the by the first of april or by the first of may sorry so this is my first time uh getting any figurals from him uh whatsoever or in, in general because when i buy candles or accessories i like them to be functional um while i'm using them and also afterwards so that's why i've kind of shied away from certain accessories um for me that i don't consider functional uh, but this is going to be 100% functional because I'm going to use these. I'm going to burn them. I'm going to use them for Christmas decorations because I have a Christmas tree theme uh, that is candy cane and gingerbread. And I'm going to put these near that tree uh, because I have gingerbread man lights that I put up on garland. I have candy. I have little peppermint lights that I put up on garland. Um, I have gumdrop lights. So these, the whole sweet shop, this is going to fit right in. Um, and then when I'm not using them as Christmas decorations or when I'm not burning them, um, like Harry suggested, you can use them to serve ice cream in, or you could put something else in them. So, uh, these are going to be good. I have to put these high up because my two year old, uh, thinks that they're real ice cream, which is going to be a problem. Uh, he also thinks that the strawberry fruit basket are real strawberries. I tried showing him that they're not, um, he wasn't buying it. So, uh, these have to go high up. So. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and give me some thumbs up um, on the bottom there. If you haven't subscribed, um, comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, what Did you get anything? You know, I think I might have mentioned that before, but I, I had to do a cut. Uh, so let me know um, what you think of, uh, of all this stuff here. So once again, you know, thanks for watching. Um, I will have uh, a good amount of homework reviews coming up because I want to get them out in time. Uh, so you can make a decision on if you want to purchase a, a homework product or not in time for the deadline of May 15th. So once again, thanks for watching. Um, comment below, like, subscribe. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys around. So thanks for watching.